So the November calendar of events was just posted for Star Wars Battlefront 2, and this reveals all of the events we can expect in November, and there's some really cool stuff in here. And then we're also going to go over all of the squad system changes coming in the Grievous update because they posted a community transmission detailing all of the changes and updates coming in the Grievous update on October 30th, including a much needed Wookiee Warrior nerf and so much more. So we're going to go over all of these details, but first let's jump into the November calendar of events to get things started. So this was posted uh, by DICE today. And if we zoom in here, let's take a look at the calendar of events, starting off with November 1st through the 4th, which says it includes a Clone Wars era playlist. So it says, to celebrate General Grievous being unleashed upon the battlefront, Heroes vs. Villains and Hero Showdown game modes will feature a special Clone Wars map rotation for a limited time. Matchmaking in Naboo, Kashyyyk and Kamino, which is awesome. So I'm really glad to see that, that, uh, you know, they're going to be doing a Clone Wars era playlist for those hero modes. So that way, you know, it just feels like you're in the Clone Wars all the time with General Grievous. So that's going to be really cool. Now, next up on November 9th through the 11th, we're, go we're going to be getting a fast spawn event for Blast and Strike. So it says we're adding the squad spawn feature to both Blast and Strike game modes this will reduce the squad spawn timer to zero for the duration of this weekend. So that's going to be interesting to see how that affects uh, those modes. And, uh, you know, DICE will always be looking for your feedback when that comes up. So don't forget to leave your feedback, you know, on the videos that we create during that time or on Twitter or on the forums. Uh, but it's going to be really interesting to see how that ends up. Now, this one is definitely one of my favorites coming up on November 16th. Through the 18th, we're getting Battle Point Heroes Unleashed once again. This is something that I was really requesting and the community was really requesting. And thank you to DICE for bringing this back because I loved Heroes Unleashed uh, this month. So it says, Heroes are being unleashed in Galactic Assault once again. During this weekend event, Heroes can be unlocked for 75% off their normal Battle Point cost with up to 8 per side playing simultaneously so it's just the exact same event as before no changes to it so we're going to have a blast in heroes unleashed on galactic assault if you're looking forward to it hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below next up is battle point event vehicles so it says battle points required to unlock all vehicles in the galactic assault are reduced by 75 percent that's happening on november 23rd through the 25th and this is another event that i was really wanting to come back as well so i'm thrilled to see that dice is bringing back both heroes unleashed and the vehicles event as well now if we go down here it says the battle of geonosis update so this is the big one guys it says galactic assault will feature a geonosis only playlist for the first five days after release in a proper Battle of Geonosis Marathon, active from November 28th until, until December 2nd. So they are giving us a Geono Geonosis-only playlist. This is something that we requested a lot, and it looks like they listened. So I'm thrilled to hear this news, and I'm so excited to jump into Geonosis in November. And again, Geonosis releases on November 28th with Obi-Wan Kenobi, the new ATTE, and so much more. And we cannot forget that it says double XP, uh, double XP event is also happening. It says the Battle of Geonosis heats up over the weekend with double XP, active from November 30th until December 2nd. So that, that whole uh, weekend is going to be amazing. I cannot wait for it, guys. I'm so excited for this. Now, finally, it says what's happening this month? Uh, in November, it says the Planet Geonosis incoming transmission on the Planet Geonosis. I cannot wait for that one. Uh, the Battle of Geonosis update, of course, is coming. It says we provide a deep dive on the upcoming Battle of Geonosis update. Uh, then it says everything you need to know about the incoming hero, Obi-Wan Kenobi. That's going to be a huge community transmission. 
And then it says an incoming transmission detailing all the new vehicles that you can expect to play. So we're going to learn all about the ATTE, the staff speeder, and then so much more. So there it is, guys. That's what we can expect for November uh, in regard to the calendar of events, all of the community transmissions they're going to be releasing. And uh, we now know the official date. So they've even improved the community calendar now because, uh, as you know, the October calendar did not include dates at first. So they've managed to get it down to the exact dates, which is really cool. So let's move on to the other news as well, including the squad system changes coming in the Grievous update. So these are all the squad system changes coming up. So it says troopers can now spawn on troopers. Troopers can spawn on, well, that was already in there, but it says troopers can spawn on reinforcements now. Troopers can spawn on heroes, exceptions being Boba Fett. Then it says reinforcements can spawn on troopers. Reinforcements can also spawn on reinforcements and heroes as well, except Boba Fett, of course. And then they're still keeping it where heroes cannot spawn on anyone. So the big change there, of course, is the first couple that I listed there. Many of you may have already known about that, but I wanted to go over that for you guys anyway. But uh, next up is very important. Uh, this is a Wookiee Warrior nerf, guys. This is something we've been asking for for a while. It said, we made the below changes to the Wookiee Warrior Enforcer for better balancing. They lowered the speed multiplayer when zooming to match the one from the Death Trooper they reduced the start and end damage for the bow per bowcaster bolt, and then they reduced base health from 350 to 320 points. So, looks like the Wookiee Warrior got a nerf there. I don't know if it's going to be a big enough nerf for the Wookiee Warrior. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below. But regardless, I'm glad to see that they're beginning to nerf the Wookiee Warrior a little bit. Now, another change I would like to see is a buff for the Imperial P Imperial Rocket Jumper, who I'm playing with right now on screen. I think, I think this guy needs a little bit of a buff, maybe a health buff and a damage output buff with his blaster. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments down below. Now, uh, another uh, upcoming addition in the Grievous update are the Hero Health Cards. Many of you guys already know about this. I made a whole video detailing this but in case you didn't see it uh they posted this in the community uh, transmission today they said we will be replacing a selection of hero star cards that have a very low usage and replace them with health star cards they will be broken up into two types of cards so it says a generic health on defeat star card this type of card is for boba fett on solo Lando Calrissian, Kylo Ren, and Darth Maul. When a hero defeats an enemy, they will regain a small portion of health. Then it, then it goes on to say a defeat with ability card. This type of card is for Chewbacca, Yoda, Finn, and Captain Phasma. When using one of these cards, health will only be awarded if a specific ability was used to defeat the enemy. So uh, it lists all the details about the the uh, Hero Health Star cards. But again, I already made a whole video on this, so I feel it'll be redundant to go over it all again. So if you want to check it out, I'll leave a link in the description to that video that details all of the changes coming up. And as a reminder, the N1 Naboo Starfighter is coming to Hero Starfighters. It says. Within the general Grievous update, you'll be able to show off your tricks as the N1 arrives into Hero Starfighters as a grunt ship. So hit that like button if you're excited for the N1 Starfighter. I'm really excited about this. I love that vehicle, so I cannot wait. And then finally, to wrap up the video, as a reminder, uh, October, I'm sorry, November 28th is the release date for Geonosis and Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, ben Walk revealed this on Twitter. So it says, When's, when is Obi-Wan out? Early November. And then uh, the community manager responded with November 28th. So that's the official date. But guys, let me know, what are you, ex are you excited most? Are you excited most for Grievous? 
for Geonosis or Obi-Wan? Let me know in the comments down below. But that does it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit that like button once again if you did. Don't forget to subscribe because we're going to be doing a lot of news videos and covering all of the upcoming uh, you know, content, including Ge uh, Geonosis, Obi-Wan, General Grievous, you name it. But guys, I will see you next time. Enjoy the rest of your day, and may the Force be with you always.